So quite a number of people have asked me to explain as best I can this amazing device. And I thought, you know, probably I should set it up and actually show you a live demo of this, but I, I didn't do that. I just thought I was up here. I just got a note from somebody that said, how does that thing work? What's it do? So here's a short video that will kind of explain what this Moog synthesizer does, how it does it, and what the various modules are. Because it looks pretty imposing, right? I mean, there's a lot here. So this is this thing is worth a bloody fortune. There were not that many of them made, and not that many of them still around. It's owned by our mastering engineer, Gus Skinnis. I would love to say I owned it, but I don't. And Gus has it up here, and we play with it. And it's kind of fun. So a modern-day synthesizer came from this mess, all right? And when I started PS Audio, if you've ever read my memoirs, 99% True, you'll know my background in synthesizers. I started with synths. I got enamored with synths. I watched Emerson, Lake, and Palmer on the stage in Germany and fell in love with the idea of a synthesizer. And he had a Moog just like this. And I was blown away. I had to figure out how does a machine make noises like that and music? How is that possible? Had no clue. And I started my career out by designing my own synthesizer to solve a big basic problem, which I'll tell you about. And that product was called the Infinitizer that I designed. And I sold a grand total of zero. I did get one order from Walter Carlos, uh, now Wendy Carlos, who is a great musician, did Switched on Bach, and I was never able to deliver. Anyway, if you want to read the whole story, pick up my memoir, 99% True, and just go to Amazon or PS Audio, whatever. Okay, a synthesizer like this, this is an old-fashioned synthesizer. It was the original made by Robert Moog, and you'll see it has all these modules and all these patch chords, right? So the idea was that you could patch everything together to make it do what you wanted to. Everything in this is voltage controlled, which means that a control voltage changes the parameters of each of these modules. So the main modules in this are a voltage controlled oscillator that makes the sound, the noise, a voltage controlled amplifier, which goes up and down in volume according to this input control voltage, an envelope generator that makes this voltage do things, and critically important, well, they're all critically important, but the filter. There's a voltage controlled filter, and that makes the character of the sound. So when you hear this, wow, that's it. It's the voltage is going like this, controlling as I would with a knob. I can go wow, wow, and that is controlling the the uh, the, the low pass function, going from a lot of it to none. And then it's basically how a wow wow pedal works. We hear this wow wow wow. That's just a voltage variable, low pass, band pass, whatever you're doing, filter that ch changes its parameters as if you were moving a knob, but the control voltage does it. And then this down here is a voltage controlled keyboard. And every time I hit a note, um, it makes a different voltage. A higher note makes a higher voltage. A lower note makes a lower voltage. And that voltage, and, and there's a, a patch cord for this, I take that and I can plug it anywhere. I mean, I could plug this keyboard into a filter and I could make the filter go wah, 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 wah. Same note, right? Have a constant note, wah, 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 wah. Or typically what you would do is plug the voltage output of this into the oscillator. The oscillator is the device that makes the tone. So that every time I hit one of these buttons, I hit a boo, boo, boo. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't sing either. <laughs> um, so that's the basic way this works. When I hit this note, it, the tone generator, voltage controlled oscillator makes a tone. I take the output of that and I put it into probably the first thing I would do is put it into the voltage controlled amplifier. And then I would also take this trigger and plug it into an envelope generator. Let me, so I'm sorry to be a little scattered. The envelope generator creates an envelope of voltage so that when I, if I just normally hit this, it'll just make a tone. Okay, but if I want it to go boom, 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 whoop, whoop, then I need something over here to make that boom, boom, and I can adjust it however I want, and that's called the envelope generator. So I plug, every time I hit that, I can choose the waveform I want. Let's say if I want a sawtooth, like it goes, the voltage goes whoop, and then or I can adjust it any way I want. So that makes an envelope of voltage that I can then apply to the amplifier. So every time I hit it, it goes boing, or if I want to make a bell, it goes ding, and that is the envelope generator turning the amplifier, the voltage controlled amplifier, up and down in that pattern. And that makes that. Now, if I want to then take that same envelope generator, or another one, there's multiple, you can see there's banks of them here. These are oscillators, this is filters, more oscillators. I can make it go to the filter. So it can go bow, bow, bow. And that's the envelope generator controlling the filter from uh, you know, a high pass to a low pass or whatever. And from all of the, and then at the end is a modulator. This up here is, is, is what's called a, uh, uh, a sequencer. So it, did, it was one of the first things that could actually it would play it for you so you didn't have to hit the keys. He's also got a uh, Bode frequency shifter, which is an odd sounding thing. I mean, the other noise source, uh, real quick, other than just the oscillator, there's a white noise generator in here. And that makes that so pew, pew, pew. And that's basically it. It takes a bit of skill to get a good sound out of this thing, but that, in essence, is the Moog synthesizer. Real brief, interesting piece. I grew up with this thing. I love it. It's an amazing accomplishment, and it has changed the world of music forever. Okay, thanks for listening.